I have a duty, a responsibility to try to uh, bring a better standard of living for the people that I represent in my community. And I'm committed to that day in and day out. And I would be very surprised if 100% if of the economic development professionals don't say that same thing. This is a landmark time. It's amazing that economic development has been here for 90 years. I just want to congratulate all of my colleagues and encourage you to stay involved in economic development. Try to um, identify those people with opportunities to come into the industry and then help them grow. Economic development is a very collaborative effort. And at the end of the day, when an announcement comes, you're usually going to see more of the elected officials on the podium, the governors, the mayors. But it's usually the economic developer just off the side of the camera. And most times, all of these projects started with an economic developer. So I think it's very fitting, especially during our 90th anniversary, to go back and just kind of recognize the work that we do and take a chance to maybe step in front of the camera once in a while. We employ about 1,100 people, uh, core staff. During our holiday period, we'll bring on another 3,000 or so people to have close to 5,000 people for the holiday season. I think having a facility here has done a lot for the community. So not just the economic piece of the community, but as far as the schools and things we've been able to give back to and all local charities we've been able to, to uh, help provide uh, funds for. We are providing jobs for many people that, that need to have extra money for their holiday season. You know, I, I'm really glad to see IDC do the 90th anniversary, actually, because that's exactly what it's doing. It's celebrating us as a profession. It's celebrating how far we've come, but it's also acknowledging that the best is yet to come. For me, it's always understanding that I don't do this by myself. Whether it's the people that work with me every day, or whether it's chamber volunteers, when it comes time, for recognition for the event, the activity, the success of the program, shoulder to shoulder, we made this possible. You can drive down blocks or go to neighborhoods or go to a restaurant that you helped finance or an entrepreneur that you helped get a loan. It's a job and a career where being in the middle of activity and being in the middle all the time that's what makes it exciting. It's a profession that's very, very satisfying and rewarding because you're actually seeing your community get better. And, and so I'm so pleased when somebody comes to work in our organization and I always ask them the question, you know, why economic development for you? And I know right off the bat when they tell me uh, they want their community and their, the place they live to be better, that they're, they're going to be perfect for the job. It's been phenomenal to see uh, the presence, you know, of women in key roles throughout this, this organization um, and to see young people, to see you know, minorities, just to see a, a diverse group of individuals. You know, I think we, we sell ourselves short quite often. It's the nature of the practice. Uh, it's important to get out and without being braggadocious about it, get out and tell the community what you've done. Tell them the number of businesses you've assisted. Tell them the number of initiatives that you've been working on and make sure that you've got good analytics. But then tell that story and take pride in it. The best story I can tell you is about a place called Garrett Square. And really this neighborhood was hard hit by the foreclosure crisis. So we had a lot of vacant homes, a lot had been torn down. And I had six senior citizen ladies who came to my office without an appointment and they sat down and they told me that they have to take three buses to get to a grocery store. So we really worked at figuring out what we needed to do and we found a developer, we split it. We now have a save a lot in Foreman Mills and it really means a lot to me because it's really about helping the least of us and really doing things like that in every community to help them have a better life. You know, I think our members are great at selling their communities but I think they oftentimes have a difficult time selling their programs, selling themselves, selling their boards, selling their importance to their community. We decided to allow uh, IEDC to 
uh, create the Year of the Economic Developer in a way that they could shine a light on their selves, on their own organizations, and the high quality work and the amount of work that they do uh, to create, retain, and expand jobs in their communities. Uh, so there's a word called coopetition. And I like, I like that word because that describes a lot of what we do in economic development with our peers that in often cases we're cooperating with others but we're competing at the same time. Economic development is competitive by nature, yet economic developers know that it's best for the individual communities if we all collaborate. That is something that I think is a great accomplishment that the field should be very proud of because what it's done is uh, helped us all to advance our communities. We all have to be a little bit nutty. Uh, we all have to be a little bit crazy. We all have to not like to sleep a whole lot. Economic development is about enhancing the quality of life for a community. Whether it's a five job deal or a thousand job project, uh, they're all meaningful, they're all significant. You won't get a lot of pat on the backs, you know, from people. And if you're managing folks, it's important that you pat others on the back. It's important that you recognize and celebrate the wins that you have. Be proud of the success that you're bringing to your community. Recognize it and go get some more.